a brand new drone from Autel Robotics. This one looks to be pretty awesome. We're gonna tell you all about it. Don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, David here from Aerial Influence. If you don't know who I am, I am one of the owners of a company called Aerial Influence. We sell drones to like police, fire departments, construction companies, surveyors, all sorts of different things. So if you're interested in buying a drone or if you just wanna call and talk about some of your drone options, make sure you give us a call, shoot us an email, you see the information on the screen and it is down in the description below. But today we are here to talk about the brand new drone from Autel Robotics. It's called the Autel Alpha. Now the package we're gonna be talking about today pairs the Autel Alpha with the L35T gimbal. So we're gonna talk all about that gimbal and what it does, but for reference purposes, that is the drone package we are talking about today. Now I should also quickly mention that we have not gotten our hands on this drone yet, although we are very eager to do so. We've worked with the Autel Max 4T, we've worked with the Evo series, so we do know what Autel has to offer. We're excited about this drone, so let's go through some of the specs. We might as well start with the fact that this does have interchangeable gimbals on it, so it is very adaptable. When Autel comes out with another gimbal for this drone, you're gonna be able to replace it. So that's a great plus for this drone. It future-proofs you uh, to a certain degree. So interchangeable gimbals, a big plus for the Autel Alpha. You're gonna get a 40 minute flight time with this drone. That is really sort of the industry standard. I, most drones are getting between 35 and 45 minutes these days. Some of them go up a little bit higher, but that is a very respectable flight time for a drone like this. Speaking of flight time, the drone uses two batteries, so they're redundant, and that is an important thing, meaning that if one battery goes out for some reason, the second battery is gonna be able to get you home. The other nice thing about having those two batteries is the fact that you can do a hot swap. So you can land the drone, pop one battery out, put a new one in, pop the other battery out, put a new one in, and you go right back up in the air. You never have to turn the drone off. You don't have to reboot anything. You're just down and up, you're flying. It has a wind resistance of 33 miles an hour. It can go from like negative four up to 122 degrees. It can operate in those temperatures. It is IP55 rated, so you can fly this thing in rain or snow. And it can fly 45 miles an hour when you put it in its top speed. So those are some pretty impressive specs. Now keep in mind, this thing is pretty big. It's not gonna be like carrying around a Mavic. There's gonna be more setup time involved. It is a big drone comparable to that of like the Matrice 350. Now let's talk about that L35T gimbal. You are going to get a 48 megapixel half inch CMOS sensor on the wide angle camera. It's going to give you 4K video and really what this wide angle camera is going to be used for is going to be mapping. So you'll be using this camera, the wide angle, to take all of the images that you need to take to then reconstruct a map in something like Pix4D or DJI Terra. It's also got an impressive zoom camera on it, 35 times optical. 560 times digital, that is ridiculous. Now that 35 times optical zoom should be really high quality. You're not gonna get degradation. It's not using the digital zoom at that point. Once you get past that 35 times, that's when your image is gonna start to break up. And I can only imagine that when you get into 560 times, uh, that image is gonna be pretty blurry, but still amazing that you can get a 560 times zoom on a, a drone. You will not have to fly close to anything. You're gonna be checking stuff out in the next county. It also features what's called night scene. So it's gonna light up the scene. It has a 300,000 ISO limit, uh, which really should help in gathering moonlight, gathering other kind of light. Uh, to be able to brighten up the scene when you're flying at night. But the real superstar of the L35T is its dual thermal cameras. So you've got a wide angle thermal and you've got a telephoto thermal. So when you zoom, your zoom is gonna be much clearer. You're not gonna be using fully digital the entire zoom as you go in. You are gonna have two different cameras there. Once you zoom in a little bit on that wide angle thermal, then that other thermal camera is gonna pick up and do the rest of the way. So it is gonna be a clearer image than just a single thermal camera. And both of these thermal sensors are 640 by 512 high resolution. So you're gonna be able to get accurate heat signatures from 400 feet up in the air. The L35T also has a laser rangefinder on it and it works up to a half a mile away. So you're gonna be able to get all sorts of information just by pointing the camera. So wherever that camera is pointing, it's gonna give you the lat longitude. It's gonna give you the height of a structure if that's what you're pointing at. So it does give you very useful information, especially in like a search and rescue operation. If you find something out in a certain location, you can actually give the exact lat longitude of that person or whatever it is that you're looking for. The Autel Alpha also features RTK antenna already built into it. So RTK, it stands for real-time kinematics. What that means is basically it's GPS on steroids. It's gonna give you centimeter level accuracy when you are hooked up to an RTK base station or you're hooked up to a broadcast like NTRIP network. 
But unlike other drones, you don't have to add anything to it. You don't have to put an RTK module on top to, to get that RTK signal. But you do have to have either a base station or you gotta have access to a quality end trip network. It's got 720 degree obstacle avoidance, which is pretty amazing. It's gonna tell you if there is anything close to your drone. So if you're getting close to a wall or a tree or a person, this thing is gonna start flashing at you, the, the remote is. It's also gonna start dinging and making noises to let you know that, hey, there's something that I don't like here. The obstacle avoidance is like a seat belt, it's great to have it there, but you never want to have to use it. It has anti-jamming technology. It does AI tracking. It does 3D mapping. It has third-party integration. So you can put like speakers, spotlights, even parachutes on top of this drone. So it is very adaptable. It is a really impressive looking drone. Now, like I said, we've not had our hands on it yet. We have had extensive work with Autel products though, including the Max 4T. So we know what Autel has to offer and we are really excited to get our hands on this drone. Now, the big question everybody wants to know is what's the price? Well, you're looking at under $20,000 for the base package. That's gonna give you two batteries, that awesome smart controller. If I didn't mention that, their smart controller for this drone is pretty incredible. It's also gonna give you a hard case and some other accessories. That's coming in at under $20,000. Once you add extra batteries and any of the other attachments that go on top, any of that kind of stuff, you're gonna look at over $20,000. So under $20,000 for the base package of the Autel Alpha with that L35T gimbal. Like I said, this was just a quick overview going through some of the specs, but we hope you found this information helpful. If you are looking to buy one of these drones, we are taking orders right now. Or if you're looking to buy any sort of other DJI or Autel drone, please reach out to us. Again, the number and the email are on the screen. They're also in the description below. We appreciate you stopping by. We'll see you next time.